My life on a tarp. There are boxes missing, but nothing's organized, and there's like things just because I'm transferring it from that van to this van. So construction is done for the most part on this van. It took about two days of like 13 hour days and 15 hour days day. Um, I'm transferring everything into this van. So I am very visual and I love organizing. I'm very good at it actually, like Tetris thing. So I took everything out before I enter. I'm just gonna, it's gonna be faster, a lot faster than just like finding holes. It's like see everything and then enter it. I won't detail organize it, but there are a lot of half empty containers at this point and I just don't have that, you know, luxury of just putting everything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take the next hour and transfer everything in. That's it. So I'm installing my curtains um, because I'm at that stage where I'm sleeping outside. So I basically have uh, some ideas and I'll show you how I'm installing them, I think, in terms of visibility. Basically, I have this giant hook and this is like an overkill. I didn't realize like that it was too big, but it's okay. It's, it's The width is good. So like if the curtains pull, it won't like strip it. It's more grounded and then the little hooks are these so i have this big hook and it goes like this right so this is my curtain setup and i'm gonna have a wire running like this um i'm pre-drilling with nails just regular wood nails it's because i find like these are really hard to grip and push and it's just like so frustrating and the reason for why i'm doing that like guiding Lots of air quotes today, but I am guiding the wires because so this will be the anchor, right? And then it's gonna be guided up because I find out whenever I was living in the car before, um, that little gap, it, I don't know, it just bothers me because I can see people. I'm like, what if people can see me? And also the light still comes out. So this way it'll be basically to the ceiling, choo choo choo, like that is gonna be, um, pretty much solid and I'm gonna leave like a lip maybe an inch on the curtains themselves I wanted to get those little hooks that pinch but I didn't I don't know it's, yesterday I just got safety pins and I'm just gonna safety pin it and run the wire through like the the holes in the safety pins I'll show you and my curtains are gonna be up and also the reason for the three holes is because like if you put it here right it's just gonna go like this it's not going to go smoothly so i went along with the curve of my car so it does like that so here here and here if i place it too far here it's gonna have a straight line once again lighting light in it's honestly details but because i'm gonna have a lip of the th of the curtain running but still and i put this hook here so it's not one of those circular things it's an actual hook it's because i find sometimes also the middle if it's too heavy it hangs down so like during the night you can just pop it on and then it, when you want to move the curtain you just kind of take it back slide it so don't put like a guide because then you won't be able to undo your curtain unless you have a perfectly exact like middle curtain but i'm gonna move it to one side probably so they are up it's gray on the inside and black on the outside. I found this at a thrift store for a dollar each. I literally didn't have to touch them. They're pretty much perfect. They might cut them later, but I need to um, troubleshoot this because I want this to go up and I don't want this to sag and like this sags. So for now it's fine, especially when I stretch it. And this side, I like it more. It's a bit different than this one. You can see the difference in fabric. Um, so this one's kind of over there, but, uh, and it's also going to go behind the chair, but I need to cut this. So baby steps. And I also put guides over here so that it's keeps the light in like that. So it doesn't sag either. So look, see, like, 
Then once this is going to be up like this, like, like that, it's going to touch the ceiling and hopefully no light's going to go up. Good morning. Today is day two of officially living in just like this van and um, not gonna lie, today was a very, I mean, hard by <laughs> discomfort <laughs> standards, not hard as in there's so many issues in the world. Um, but it's tough because my feet are cold and my body's cold and when you woke up, wake up and it's just cold, it's not so nice. For me, I'm not a cold lover at all, personally. But I just wanted to kind of show the underside of van life. It's not, it's just, I think it's, it just, it's normal life and prepare for the challenges just like you would in a normal life. It's also, I think it's not like, oh, the reality of van life. I mean, like, it's just the reality of life, like, you know. Sometimes your water tank breaks at home and it is what it is. You just get it over with and fix it and if you can. And same here. So it's not the like, wow, the reality, the hidden underside. No, it's like, it's just normal. I guess it's just life stuff and the decisions that we make as van lifers. I'm officially a van lifer. This has been four years of dreaming. I'm officially a van lifer with my dogs. That's exactly what I wanted. Thank you, universe and everyone and me and everything. Um, this is what we as van lifers, I'm so beautiful, go through.